good afternoon. Happy Saturday. Oh, I knew that was going to happen, y'all. Let's see what this says. Corner shop order for when Dixie. One new instruction. Let me see what the six products. Okay. Six products for $18. It has a 1.6 times on there so I'm definitely gonna take that because it seems like half the time they are not accurate and it's usually more so I accepted that order I knew that I was gonna get a corner shop because when I was at my house still they were odd they were saying like there's a new multiplier at East 50 I'm um, like oh you know, I know that there's an order and nobody's taking it. Why are you going so slow, bro? The speed limit. <sighs> the speed limit is 55. We're like half a mile from a turn and he just put his blinker on and we're going 40. Like, are you serious, bro? And of course, everybody's going to go around you. So you can't go. Like, what the heck? are you doing people just they don't know how to drive I'm telling you um you definitely don't have to go 40 to prepare for a turn that what you were a mile from when you started slowing down um but anyways i'm heading to when dixie for this order this morning i had to get my video together and i had a slow start to my morning i just did not want to get out of bed um i got to bed super late um, cause we got home late and then I was tired, you know, so I just didn't want to get up and then I had to get up, do my video, film the outro because I did not do it last night and then get that ready and upload it for YouTube for Saturday night tonight. Um, so that will go up. I'm thinking about doing another Q and A, maybe like a live one. So if you would be interested in watching that. Let me know in the comments so that way I can make a post specifically for that and then everybody can ask questions under that. I know I did one before but it was like with a different video and I feel like a lot of people probably didn't watch it because I did it. I shouldn't have did it with the video that I did it with. So if you would like to see a Q&A let me know in the comments and then I will make a post specifically about the Q&A and ask. Um, you know, like what kind of questions you want to, what you want answered, blah. Um, but if you are ready for the rest of this video, definitely stay tuned. Please don't hit me. They, I don't know why they get so close on your butt. Um, but stay tuned and I will be back. So once you hit that you are at the store, you're going to slide over to arriving at the store. Then you're going to slide it again to start the picking. You see there's that one one next to the instruction. So you're going to have to actually hit that before you f finish um, to make sure that you saw it. So I'm just going to hit it right now. It does put her gate code, so I'm not going to show that part. Um, but I wanted to do this just to message the customer. So now I'm going to hit on her name. I'm going to hit chat. And then I'm just going to write my message that I usually type to everybody. I'll either do good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or I'll just say, hey, I'm just getting started on your order. If I have any replacement questions, I will message you <laughs> directly in the chat. And then I should do period. And then I'll say if you have any, if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask period. And then I send that. Then I'm going to go back, 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 and I will start picking. I'm going to look at everything just to see where I need to go because sometimes it, it tells you like produce or like the cold beverages that would be by the produce last. And I'm like, no, I'm going to see what I can do first. So I think the first thing is the ginger ale which it says it's on aisle three, but y'all, their aisles are wrong. It's going to be on aisle four. And the stuff that says it's on aisle four is going to be on aisle five. It's, and so and so on and so forth. Um, 
I don't know why it does that, but even when I did the one Dixie order, it was the same thing. So I'm going to head to the soda aisle and look for the ginger ale. Once I get it, I'm going to scan it. It's going to see the barcode and then you have to hit that they want two. So you type one, two, and then the price, $6.29. You have to make sure the price is the same because sometimes it might be cheaper, it might be a little more expensive. If it's way more expensive, they'll actually be like, hey, are you sure that's right? Um, because the prices are, they're usually really close, maybe like 20, 30 cents off every once in a while, but usually the prices are pretty spot on. Um, so after I scan that, I'm just gonna go into aisle five now for the crackers. I found the cracker, so you see me scan the barcode. I just hit enter because the barcode is the same and they only wanted one, so I just hit enter again and the price was the same. The other crackers, I did the same exact thing. I looked for the crackers, I found them, I hit the found it button, scanned it, the barcode is the same, I hit enter for the price was the same then i'm going to go to aisle six for the soup so once i found the soup i think i started with the four pack first i'm going to hit found it scan the barcode hit done done because the price was the same and then head on to the next and with this one, I think I scanned the wrong one at first. So you're going to see it says wrong product. The barcode does not match. I think I tried it again just to verify. And then I'm like, wait a minute, it's not the right one. Let me go back and look. <laughs> um, I think I was trying to scan one that said it had a different label on it, but it was chicken with rice. It just was like healthy request or something. So then I had to go back and look for the right chicken with rice. So after looking for a minute, I finally found it. I'm going to scan it, hit done because the barcode matches what I scanned. Done. And then they wanted three. So I grabbed three, one, two, three. Found quantity. The price was right. So I hit done and then on to the last one. I brought it up bigger this time so I could see it found it so I scanned the barcode hit done because the barcode was the same and then plused it up to three and hit okay the price was the same so I hit done and that is it so I'm going to hit slide to finish picking and then it's going to load this screen and I just hit review. You can't hit continue order, so I just hit review and then continue and then slide to check out because she didn't add anything else. And there you go. Here's my cart, a very small cart with this order. So once you're done and you scan everything, you have to scan that barcode that it's gonna pop up on the screen that I just had up. I didn't keep it up too long because it does leave my, like the card number. So you're gonna add the receipt and you're gonna add a photo of the receipt. So you're gonna take a picture, take a photo. Here I am taking the picture. And then you see she messages me <laughs> after I'm already done shopping. Luckily, Corner Shop gives you paper bags. You're going to scan the barcode and then you're going to enter the subtotal before the taxes. You see the estimated total is $36, but because you scan the membership, the total goes down. You see there it said the there's a significant difference and that's because they have a Winn-Dixie membership. So they get, you know, the BOGOs or the sales because I scanned that. I hit my card number and then hit next that's when i'm going to do the bags and how many bags i have the instructions there we go so i think i'm going to tell her that um i have the corner shop paper bags 
Yeah, she said, hi, if they have paper bags, can you please bag with those? Thanks in advance. So I'm like, I'm all done. I'm headed to the car. I actually have paper corner shops. So yes, I will put them in there for you. So after that, it's going to ask you how many bags you used. You have large plastic, large paper, and small paper. I don't usually use the small ones. I've been trying to use them, and I don't usually use the plastic. Every once in a while, I will. Um, so I'm going to put it into the bags and then see how many I used of which kind and then add that in there. It was one large, two large, three large bags. Slide to finish. And then it's going to bring up the screen. Pickings. I'm already done picking, so it's going to go to deliveries. I got one active delivery because I just did that order. And then you actually have to click on that. So you click on that, and there we go. I'm ready to go. You're going to click on that, and it's going to bring up the address. Of course, I'm not going to leave that up, but it's going to bring up the address. You just hit slide to start delivery, and then whichever maps program you want to use, and it'll give you the directions. But I'm heading to get this dropped off. It's only three bags, three paper bags. I put the soda in a bag as well. It's the little mini ones, the mini 12 pack, 10 pack, mini 10 pack of cans. So it's not very heavy and it should be fine in the paper bag once I lift it up. Um, I guess I could put one in with the crackers because the crackers is super light. I don't know. We'll see once I get there and I go to pick up the bag if it's gonna handle the two uh, sodas or not. Um, but I will be back, y'all, once I do get my next order. My next order is up. It's another Winn-Dixie order, but it's on DoorDash this time. I think it's going to be my first one for Winn-Dixie for DoorDash. Um, it was 12 items, 1.8 miles. I think it was like 10.50. Now that I say that, I don't remember. Yeah, 10.25. I was close, y'all. 10.25, so I'm almost back there anyways. And I'm going to get it dropped off. I did end up switching the soda. So I put one soda in each bag. And then I put a pack of crackers on top of the sodas. That way they weren't as heavy. Because two sodas, I think it was a little bit too heavy for that bag. Shop and deliver with Winn-Dixie. You're going to shop for items on the list. Contact customer if needed. Pay with the red card and select credit. Then deliver the order. Then you're going to hit start shopping. It's going to bring up all the items for you so you can see them. I'm just going to go through them so I can kind of see what aisles I need to go to. So I'm going to start in the first aisle with the drinks. That's actually, I think, aisle two because aisle one is the bread aisle. Aisle two has the drinks. Aisle three does not even have... Oh yeah, aisle three did have that because that was like the value aisle for the household, but they're all on the next aisle for whatever it says. So aisle one is really on aisle two. Aisle two is really on aisle three. As I go to the water, I'm gonna click on the water and it's gonna bring it up bigger and it says two crystal springs water purified one gallon. You're gonna hit scan item barcode. And then you see me scanning the barcode and then it's already selected two. And then so you just hit add item you're going to bring up the next thing the crystal light wild strawberry and it did take me a second to find it but once you do you're going to hit scan item barcode again it's going to pop up you're going to see me scan the barcode it's already got one in there so you're going to hit add item and then you're going to go down to aisle three even though it says aisle two and look for those paper towels you're going to do the same thing. You're going to click on it. It's going to bring it up bigger for you so you can read it better. And then hit scan item barcode, scan it, and then add the item because it's already got the one selected. And then it says that the household, the bug killer is in aisle eight, which it is not. Um, I had to look for it myself. So I kind of skipped that and went to the personal care aisle. The first thing I tried to find 
is these Blink Contact Lubricating Eye Drops. It takes me a few minutes to find it, so I actually stop looking for that one and go to something else so I don't waste too much time. So I finally find the eye drops. I hit add item, it already had the one selected. And then I found this solution, hit add item after you scan the barcode. Next up was the Crest mouthwash. I had to look for that, it didn't take me very long. And then I scanned barcode, hit add item because they only wanted the one and it automatically selects the one. So now I'm going to go to the next aisle and look for the air freshener. I find that one. I'm going to hit scan item barcode, scan it, and then hit add item because they only wanted the one. Go to the next item. Next item up was the Gain Dryer Sheets. Took me a second to find that. And then I'm going to scan item barcode, add item and then go on to the next. Next item up is the Clorox cleaning wipes. I took me a second to find the smaller one, uh, but it, once I found it, I'm gonna scan the item barcode, add item, and then you'll see all the things that I've found so far already have little green check marks. The next thing was the Swiffer Dust Refills. I had to look for that in the aisle. Once I found it, I scanned the barcode and then I'm gonna hit add item. It's pretty much the same for every item as long as they have it. And then my last item, the Bug Killer, which took me a second to find it, but I did find it. It was on the aisle with the pet supplies. So I'm going to do the same thing, scan item barcode, and then hit add item, and I'm all done. So I'm going to hit proceed to checkout. It's going to scan the barcode before you pay. That's, I guess, like their membership as well. I'm not really 100%. I think this was my first one, Dixie order. After you scan the barcode, you just pay with your red card and hit credit, and then you're going to hit proceed to delivery, and you can hit get directions like you would a normal delivery. That is dropped off and I really only got the 1025, which is fine. I took it for knowing that. Um, I had Para on, but it's not been working for the DoorDash orders. I don't know why. It's been showing Uber Eats, but I, I see that Uber Eats, it just gives you the amount. So I don't know. I don't think it really helps Uber Eats orders. I don't know. Unless it's just me, which it could be. Um, but I'm gonna head, ooh, big speed bump, big speed bump. I'm gonna head back to a parking lot unless I do get an order. There's an Instacart for Target for 1.7 miles for $11, but it's 13 items, 17 units. And I'm not very good with Target. I mean, I could do it, but I feel like it's gonna take me a lot longer than it should. Cause I'm not like, I'm not a very good Target shopper. I don't usually grocery shop there because it's more expensive. So if I go to Target, it's usually because patients wants to they go They just had sent me an order for Panera Bread that was like half a mile for 350. And I said, no, 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 no. Now they're sending it to me again for 375 for like a little under a mile. Cause I'm a little bit further. Um, I had taken an order for, so let me actually pause this. Where am I going? An Instacart. I'm going to, for an Instacart to, no, 358 for Walgreens, 1.7 miles. It looks like it's actually going to the same, probably the same place, the same hotel that the Panera is going to. I'm going to go offline.
But I'm heading to the liquor store for an Instacart, 2.9 miles for $14.90. I was actually about to pull in to Target to use the bathroom because I have to pee so bad. So now I'll just go to the bathroom at the liquor store and then grab their one item for $12. Was it $12? What did I just say it was? I don't even know, y'all. I don't remember. They're actually sending me an add-on for an additional four miles. I can get another $10. So what did I just take this for? Three? So it's like seven miles and it'll be $25. Um, You know what? I think I will take it. I think if it lets me oh there we go it's like clicking it and it wasn't working so I did take that out on that add-on so now I'm getting three items for two separate customers so that's not bad y'all that's still really good so I'm gonna run in pee and grab this stuff so it has been a minute since I got an order I got both of those alcohol ones dropped off the first ID scanned a lot faster than the second one but the second one ended up scanning um, I think I got $25 and change for that altogether. And I'm in my parking lot where I like to sit sometimes. And it's been probably about an hour. No, not an hour because it took me a little bit to do that order. Uh, but it's $4.52. I took that last, the add on order at $3.46. I did have to go in and shop. And then I got both of those dropped off. So maybe like. 20 minutes I've been sitting I don't know maybe not but I got one for Applebee's which I'm in the parking lot with that for 1.5 miles for 650 para says 650 but there was no stars so I don't know maybe it can go up maybe it will stay 650 but for one and a half miles 650 is pretty good for two miles 10 items for Taco Bell a couple of those items were sauces which I expect from Taco Bell because they count the sauces as items which is beyond me I don't know why y'all um, so I'm heading to drop that off now and it's a hand it to me Oops. all these orders they've been sending me have been trash so I waited a few minutes before I got well I finally did get one that I took for McAllister's Deli I think the rain is definitely coming the sky is getting grayer and grayer um, it was for I think it's actually going like right where I'm at in my parking lot or maybe like the next parking lot over and I'm going I'm picking up from McAllister's so I don't have to go very far no I think it is going to this hotel right here where I'm sitting so that's actually really convenient for $7. So I'm heading there now. Hopefully it will be ready. I've never actually ate there. I, I want to eat there, but I'm so picky. I think there was like one or two things maybe on the menu that I would eat. Because I'm not really like a sandwichy person. I'm not a lot of stuff person. But anyways, heading to McAllister's Deli for this hopefully easy pickup got that dropped off now my glasses are all wet what is the tender shack I don't know what that is 
but I'm not going there because that's 12 miles for $10 and there's no little next to the tip on par para so that's a no from me but for that one I did get more so that was nice let's see did I screenshot that I did so I got 1302 for that order so it went up from seven to thirteen dollars and I left the parking lot and I'm back at the same parking lot we're all sitting so that was majorly convenient for me so Saturday I did not record an outro because I had that one corner shop order that I needed to wait for the tip to pop up and so I did do one more order before I went home for Instacart for $11.93 for 3.2 miles and that was my last order. So I did two dashes, one for $10.25 and then one for $26.52. Um, my total with Instacart was $37.24. And then the one corner shop, I got a $4.50 tip. So that was probably about $20 altogether for that corner shop order, which is not bad. Um, altogether, I made $94.07. I did not work a full day. I'm not 100% how long I worked. I'm going to have to try and look at that like when I took my first order and when I took my last order. Um, but if you liked this video, it was a little more of an informative one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Have a great night, y'all. A young boy being may dream. And in the dream... <laughs>